Now to the latest from inside Alabama's legislature. A Senate committee today approved a bill that would prohibit some efforts to promote diversity and inclusion at public universities and state agencies. Lawmakers heard from the public in what turned out to be a passionate debate. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis with the update from the State House. Of Senate Bill 129 say they don't want groups of people to be ashamed of their race or heritage. We're concerned about indoctrination in a particular ideology, an ideology that divides people into identity groups. Conversely, opponents say the bill has a vague definition of diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, which could impact multicultural college organizations. But they could easily be mistaken for DEI programs by people who are ignorant of how they function. For many public institutions, it is not unlikely that they would rather shut down the organizations than put up with the potential controversy that could be generated. The debate spurred an emotional response from Democratic senators. I'm praying about a letter that I penned to resign from the Senate because... Um, I can't, I can't do things like this. With emotions ranging from sadness to frustration. Everybody who spoke in support of this legislation was unmelanated. That's a fact. What I'm afraid of with your bill is that somebody's going to lose their job. Something's going to happen because of somebody's opinion. Those are heartfelt comments. So it does, it tugs at your heart and, you, you know, but... I think some of the concerns that have been levied against the bill are, are I, will not happen. Senator Will Barfoot says his bill won't erase history. And Alabama has a history of good, bad, and the ugly that we need to continue to talk about that. This in no way inhibits or prohibits that discussion in a classroom, in a K-12, through or at higher education. Senator Barfoot expects his bill to be on the Senate floor tomorrow for more debate. Now, Alabama's GOP party in the Senate is a super majority, but we can expect Senate Democrats to filibuster this bill to delay the vote for as long as possible. In Montgomery, Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News.